my name is Ashley Gwinnett, Tarleton Academy head teacher. Been here since September um, 2012. And I'm Joanna Baker, I'm Tarleton Academy assistant head teacher and director of maths. As the head teacher coming in to Tarleton, one of the very first things that happened after I was appointed was that I was invited to a presentation um, at Brownage St Mary's, which is a local school, um, where basically three staff from here and three staff from Brownage St Mary's had done the coaching programme together. Um, and so I was invited along to the presentation at the end of the coaching programme and I was blown away by, by what clearly happened in terms of an impact for those individuals that were involved in the programme. And I knew that Jo had a reputation of being um, a hard taskmaster and she had to be convinced of things to be sure that they would be worth doing. And because um, she's got such high standards. And what I felt there was we had three very, very different members of staff who in very different ways were completely sold on the whole thing. So then talking to Jo about it afterwards, we very quickly agreed that it was something we then wanted to roll out in Tarleton Academy as much as we possibly can. At that point in time, we were very much convinced we had a gem here that could be transformational in terms of making it as a new head and us bringing it into school to make that difference. To me, the coaching programmes opened up a massive dialogue, not just with myself uh, and students, but also with being a line manager. It's enabled me to open up a dialogue with the people in my department and also senior members of staff. And it's the sharing and it's enabled us to listen to each other and actually effectively communicate. And I think that was lacking before we started the coaching programme. Yeah, the effective communication part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was very, very sceptical before I went on the course and um, I'd just returned from maternity leave and I, f I needed something to get my teeth into and it was totally transformational for my teaching, my personal life and my managerial skills and I thought that if I could carry on and enthuse other people like I had enthused myself and my other two accredited trainers here, um, then it, the snowball effect would be amazing. Yeah, and I think for me as a head teacher, it was it was ha how do we actually affect change in the, the most powerful way, but in a way that is sustainable. Mm -hmm. You know, so there are so many things that schools do. They get involved in Kagan or teacher effectiveness, all that kind of thing, and they use these different things to try and make a massive difference in a school to the way that it runs and the way the teaching and learning is delivered and, and, and people being part of something that is transformational. So I was looking to see what that might be anyway and um, having, having been on the edges of coaching, particularly secondary strategy, I knew that coaching was a fantastic tool but even working in coaching with secondary strategy I hadn't seen anything that was as transformational as it seemed to be. So in trying to find something as a vehicle for change, it became very obvious that here was something that had already we already had a Trojan horse. And and that's really how it's been. I wanted these guys trained as trainers so that as many people as possible in our school can benefit from it. And we would have, as I say, what we're calling this silent revolution, where just bit by bit by bit people have got the badge, and I mean got the badge, literally putting the, the badge on, on as Joel has here. And, and being part of this kind of almost secret society that others are kind of wanting to then be part of. So it's not anything that we're forcing down people's throats. It's not anything that we've stood up in September of 20, 2012 and said, right, you're all doing this. It's just got its own momentum and it's just making such a change. You know, it, it's fantastic. I've seen results within my classroom. And um, I have seen students and understand things better yeah. and want to learn in a different way. They want to know the knowledge rather than being spoon fed and it's all the way, it's how you deliver it. And it changed my teaching dramatically. I was always told that I was very good at questioning within a classroom but it's, it's changed it dramatically and I think that's one of my strengths and it's down to the coaching programme. It's changed the way that I go into meetings. 
it's changed the way that other people behave in meetings, and it's made us a lot more productive. Silently, like the silent revolution, but it's permeated in all ways, and other members of staff, teaching and non-teaching, they speak differently now. I mean, what's fascinating is sometimes you'll be in a meeting, and somebody will say something, and, and if there's two people who've been course trained, they'll kind of go, oh, why are we doing that? <laughs> and it's quite sweet, that kind of thing. But I think as well for me, it, it's seeing the confidence that's developed. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the coaching programme has taken in such a wide range of people. So you've got teaching and non-teaching staff, but you've also got staff who are really, you know, a successful part of the career. And then you've got other people who are feeling a little bit nervous in, in, in where they stand and what their place is in school and their own capability, really. Mm -hmm. So you're bringing together so many disparate groups particularly the non-teaching and the teaching staff working together and, and you know the support staff realising that their role is as important in the school and starting to get um, the, two, the two different ways of working, seeing that even though one's teaching and one's not teaching, they both have a real role to play and they're all essential in the cogs in the wheel and so that, that understanding of each other's roles has been enhanced. But I also think in terms of that, I say that confidence development, it's what, while they're coaching other people, they're naturally self-coaching. And, and the times that I've had, a particular member of staff I'm thinking of now, who, who would, knew herself that she wanted to change the way that she related to other people. And, and I asked her one day when she was doing something that was very much under pressure as a deadline, how are you coping with such a big job in such a short space of time, I just self-coach, I self-coach, I give myself manageable things to do in a certain, and I just thought, gosh, it isn't just about, I mean, the classroom is powerful enough, but it is literally about whether we work professionally and personally, and I think that's what's been so powerful, is people standing up and giving testimony to how it's changed their relationships, and, you know, it, it is quite transformational. I keep using that word, but that's because it is. <laughs> I, think, I think the change, if, if you want to change something, it comes from within. If somebody tells you to change something, you're less likely to do it. And that's the powerfulness of it. Mm -hmm. The coaches take ownership of everything. Yeah. And the more likely to do it, and they get such a sense of achievement for doing it. I, I still do. And I do apply it to almost everything. It's the old adage, isn't it? You know, teach a man to fish, feed him for a day. Yeah. You know, teach them how to coach and they can do it for the rest of their lives. It's, mm. it's, it's fantastic. Brilliant. Mm. So what would you say your biggest success story is? I think my biggest success story is actually not being sceptical anymore. Mm. I, I, I apply it to everything mm. that I do. And I break everything down. And nothing ever looks too much anymore. Ain't no mountain high enough. And it, everything gets built, uh, broken down. And I know now that I can face a lot of things. Mm. And I think that's what people get from it. And to me, it's not, it's not selecting any one person. Mm. It's knowing that every single person who's gone through the programme. Um, and it makes it sound like some kind of a, a, a crazy thing. It's not. It's so simple but so powerful. Mm -hmm. And everybody that's gone through the programme has seen themselves change for the better, uh, without even realising they needed to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's developed and it's enhanced and it's empowered. And, it's, and, and in that way it is a huge impact, but not in a big in your face kind of way. Mm -hmm. It's just happening. But the reason for doing it, first and foremost, was to transform teaching and learning. Yeah. You know, what I wanted was a school where relationships enabled students to learn more independently, where people felt confident to step back and let children think for themselves. Mm. And that's what I wanted, you know, when we talked about, is it the seven um, aspects of outstanding teaching and learning that you do in the key mm. features, and, and getting teachers to talk about teaching and learning, that was the driver, that was the reason for doing it. Um, and I think therefore, for a script for the school, um, we're, we're ticking boxes without without fabricating it, you know, it's just become yeah. a natural part of practice, which means that it's not a case of me going in and saying to people, you need to get people thinking with themselves more in classrooms. It's naturally happening for those who've actually gone through the coaching training. So that's the big driver in the first instance, and everything that comes out of that 
is a fantastic additional. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Right, let's see if we can nail it down then. What are the three biggest differences that coaching's made to Tartan Academy? The communication between people um, in all different walks of the school, different roles. I would say the, the huge impact in, in the questioning and the independent learning. And the confidence, I think building confidence um, in at coaches and coaches and all these amazing things happening that that almost too too much to quantify because as, as I've said, it is all these little things that all add up to this big whole. What it's given us is a, is a vehicle for change that makes it more sustainable because yeah. it is embedded in practice. It's a real change, not just a change for that fad. Yeah. I mean, I think the people who've gone through the coaching training, it's changed who they are for the rest of their lives. In my first term coaching, I coached a year of 11 people, and we only did one coaching session. And it was about the January, and she said, I only need one, I can do this now, Miss. And she wasn't on for her GCSE results, and she got them at the end. And on results day, she said, thanks for that little chat we had in January, Miss, it worked. And if, if it just happens with that one, hmm. people hmm. think what you can do. Yeah. If you could sum up the programme in three words, what would they be? Powerful, but understated, and longevity. Yeah, Sus sustained sustainability, impact. Um, remarkable. <laughs> um, it has. It's been totally remarkable. Yeah. For me personally. Yeah. But and for the school. Yeah. It, I I cannot imagine the school without it. I cannot. Hmm. That didn't mean you didn't do no. very well there. <laughs> um, powerful. Deep. Deep. Sustained. Sustained. Yeah, I happy with it. Yes. yes. <laughs> Is there yes. anything else that you want to add? I, I think that um, any school that really, really, really wants to affect a real transformation, what they should be doing is looking at something like this that just goes to the roots of everything we're trying to do. And therefore, um, without reservation, I would wholeheartedly recommend being better.